and the last of the victims' families bravely testified today to share their grief and express how their lives have been changed forever. Many people in the courtroom were brought to tears. Janine is here with their stories. Janine. And we have now heard from loved ones of all 17 victims. They described their emptiness and their grief. You only have 15 birthdays. Stories of loss and lives forever suspended in time. The last of gut-wrenching testimony from loved ones, like the cousin of 15-year-old Peter Wang, who read on behalf of his inconsolable mother. Each night in bed, I wonder how life could be if Peter was still here, and I wish I could go back in time to see him again, hug him again, and kiss him again. We heard from the mother of 17-year-old Helena Ramsey, described as a scholar and athlete who was killed on her father's birthday. That day will never be a celebration and can never be the same for him. And now is filled with pain, as is every day. Then there was Debbie Hickson, whose husband Chris Hickson died, by all accounts, running toward danger. He was the school's athletic director. We miss his smile. We miss his crabbiness. We miss his compassion. But mostly we miss the sense of safety and security that he gave to everyone around him. Is there something that you'd like to tell the jury about your dad? Yeah. What is that? Okay. I missed him. That was the Hickson son, Corey, arguably the most powerful moment in the courtroom today. The state has rested, so jurors will have two weeks to think about what they've seen and heard before the defense then makes their case. Louie and Nicole, we will be there for it all. Just unimaginable heartbreak. Thank you, Janine, for that.